How can I maintain the spirit of perseverance that immigrant parents instill in their children with, with my children one day? And what things have you done to, to keep that tradition alive? My biggest fear was that my children would not be self-motivated, wouldn't want to work hard. And, um, you know, probably the, the most important things I can ever hear is when someone says, oh, I met your son the other day, and boy, is he a great kid. Boy, is he motivated. Is he trying to find his own way? Same with my daughter. And, and Andrew Mason, who's the founder of, of Groupon, a really, really fine young man, he's married now and his wife is pregnant. And he called me the other day and asked me that same question. He said, um, you have a great, I've been married 26 years. You always talk about your wife. You always talk about your kids. What parenting advice can I give you? And, and I think the most important thing to realize is that you're just a big mirror being held up to your children. And that um, if you're not a great person, there's a high likelihood that your children won't be great people either. That, that you role model in every single thing that you do. And, and a key is to understand that you can never not be a mom or a dad because they're there and especially young, they're absorbing everything. And then a key is making sure that when they're not with you, that they're not with people that are erasing all those good things that they had because you'll, you'll find parents and, and who are wonderful people and then perhaps their children have done things that aren't as wonderful. And when you'll drill down, you'll find there was this fight and tension between kind of the parental, family, cultural mores and what was being ingrained and then a second family that we all create, which is our peer group. So the important things that I did was I, I did help manage who my kids were hanging around with. And it's interesting, they were, ended up hanging around with other self-motivated, hardworking kids. And so it was reinforced in each of those family settings. And so I, I, I think osmosis or holding the mirror up, but I also think being actively managing on you know, well, who are you playing sports with? Who are you studying with? Who are you dating? Who are you hanging around with? Because that influence of that second family or what's called the good third place, you know, place you work, place you live, and then that good third place has an unbelievable amount of influence.